You may have seen me make $47,000 in one single day, but not too long ago, I had $2 in my bank account. So let's dive into my trading journey in this video. My day trading journey began in Australia where I moved in 2016 after completing my engineering bachelor's degree. I had no plans of pursuing masters because I always thought it's a waste of time and frankly we couldn't afford it anyways. I always envisioned myself owning a business or doing something of my own. As a new immigrant in Australia, it was very difficult for me to find a job for the first few months so I was doing odd jobs like food deliveries for the first few months. On the sides, I was applying for jobs every single day. I remember this one time I had an interview lined up and I only had $2 in my bank account while the metro fare was eight dollars i had to borrow money from a friend of mine just to make it to the interview after a few months of applying for jobs every single day finally in april 2017 i found my first full-time job i was very happy and the job was in a warehouse although the job description stated that i'm gonna be a basic engineer repairing tvs and mobile phones yes i was doing those on the sides but basically i was wrapping up pallets disposing of tv boxes cleaning up stuff moving around tv boxes so it was a typical warehouse job and before i forget it used to take me three hours on traveling back and forth and I remember doing around 15,000 steps every single day just at work. I used to leave my house in the morning around 7 a.m. and then I used to come back home around 6 30 p.m. at night. So yes people call it a 9 to 5 but basically for me it was 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. and for 12 hours of work five days a week that job paid me the bare minimum that paid me around $26,000 a year but I still kept my expenses fairly low. For example back then I was paying $600 a month in rent for living in a shared room not even a shared house a shared room. Eventually, I moved in with my partner, now my wife, and that was the best decision of my life because practically we both were making money for living in that house. That house was a four-bedroom house and the rent was $2,200 a month. So we occupied one of those bedrooms and the three other bedrooms we leased out and those people were paying us $800 a month. So that means for three other bedrooms, we were making $2,400 and our rent was $2,200. So we are in the positive for living in a house. Was it good? Hell no, it was shitty living with other strangers, but we did what we had to do and that was the best decision of my life because the money we were saving from rent eventually went towards me losing money in day trading and then I was able to make that work in the long run. So everything just lined up perfectly. I'm mentioning all of this because it's part of my journey and I don't want you guys to give up. I had a really humble start. I started with $2 in my bank account and all the money I have made as an adult is from my own hard work and day trading. So don't give up. I worked in that warehouse for about a year and after that I had a few other desk jobs. Then in end of 2018 I first got introduced to the term day trading. I started trading in Feb 2019. However, I didn't take it seriously until July 2019. And for the first 11 months, that is from Feb 2019 to Jan 2020, I was red. That means I was losing money from day trading every single month. Even after losing money for 11 months, I could sustain a living because of two reasons. The first reason is that my expenses were low. I was not paying any rent, so I had a bit of savings. And the second reason is that because I was in Australia, I could work at my full-time job in the morning and I could trade in the US stock market at night because in Australia the US stock market opens anywhere between 11:30 p.m. to 1:30 a.m. depending on the time of the year and daylight savings. That is a benefit of being in Australia, but the downside is that because I was working in the morning and trading at night, so basically I was making money in the morning and losing at night for the first 11 months, I could barely get enough sleep. I was sleeping 3 to 4 hours on a good day, and I often went without sleep for 48 hours because believe me, if you're trading at night and you are losing money specifically, it's very hard to go to sleep. I did that for more than two years from Feb 2019 to July 2021 I had a full-time job and I was trading and then finally in July 2021 I was able to quit my job. Not getting enough sleep for more than two years had its side effects. I was facing anxiety, hot flashes, sweaty palms and also my motivation and my confidence started to go downhill. So I do not recommend you guys to do this. I had no other option but if you guys have the option focus on your health, meditate, sleep for at least seven to eight hours every single day because if you focus on your health you will be able to perform better when you are day trading. So yeah, when I started in Feb 2019, I had approximately $20,000 in my savings account. And by the end of 2019, I only had $7,000 in my savings account. And like all of us do, at the beginning of 2020, my new year resolution or my new year goal was to make this work. But I only had $7,000 in my bank account. So I used $2,000 of those $7,000 to buy a course. 
I used the other $3,000 to fund my trading account and at the end I was only left with $2,000 in my savings account. I honestly considered quitting if I lost this money because it wasn't making financial sense to me to continue with this losing journey and I was almost out of my savings as well. However, by then I had learned how to trade and read the charts. The only thing standing in between me and my success was managing my emotions and staying disciplined. This time around it was a bit more inwards, learning about how I manage my emotions and how I react to different situations than it was learning about the charts. Now let's come to the fun part. I started with that $3,000 new account in February 2020 and in the same month I had my first green month of my trading career. In the next 8-9 to nine months by September October 2020 I was able to turn that $3,000 account into over $100,000 plus. After another year of consistency in July 2021 I finally decided to quit my job. And then after another year in July 2022 I decided to move to Dubai. And why Dubai? It just felt like a step in the right direction because of three reasons. The first reason is that I was born in Dubai so it feels right completing my life circle. The second reason is that no taxes here. I work completely online. No taxes is a bonus. And the third most important reason is the trading time. The US market opens here between 5.30 or 6.30 p.m. depending on daylight savings which is really good for me personally because I'm a morning person. I like to sleep at night and wake up in the morning. Unlike a lot of other people, if you guys are able to perform at your best at night then maybe Australia is the step for you. But for me the lifestyle in Dubai suits me a lot better. I'm able to perform a lot better compared to what it was back in Australia. It can't be a coincidence that I had my first six figures month and my first six figures week within a month of moving to Dubai. Recently a lot of traders and people who work online are moving to Dubai. So if you plan to move to Dubai and if you want me to make more videos about my life as a day trader in Dubai, post a comment down below and while you are there I would really appreciate a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. So yeah that was my journey from $2 in my bank account to being a successful day trader. What I feel like if you want to be a good day trader first of all you need to love day trading because it's gonna take a toll on your mental health. It's an emotional roller coaster. It's a very difficult career to make a living in. Personally in the past four plus years I have only taken 10 to 15 days off from the stock market. So this just shows that I love day trading. I love looking at the charts. I love looking at the journal. I love looking at the market depth, the tape, the order flow and I love to improve myself as a day trader every single day. You need to be freaking resilient if you are a day trader if you want to make it work because in the long run it's a highly rewarding career. For example just think about this a doctor or a surgeon or a lawyer they work very long hours. They love their jobs but they sometimes work for 14 to 15 hours every single day. And don't forget that at the end of the day you are in front of your computer clicking a few buttons trying to make money most likely in your pajamas. You need to stick to your own journey because social media portrays trading like an easy way to make 10,000 or 100,000 dollars which is further from the truth. I had that issue as a beginner comparing myself to traders making 100,000 dollars a day but it's easy to ignore the fact that trader is risking 20 or 30,000 dollars to make 100,000 dollars that is the first thing and the second thing is that on their worst days they can even lose 50,000 dollars. So in your case if you're only willing to lose 50 dollars like I did as a beginner trader you can't expect to make 10,000 dollars. You have to start out really slow and eventually build up. I think the best thing I did as a day trader is to log my journey on Instagram and YouTube. If you guys go and follow me on Instagram and scroll all the way to the bottom you guys will see I started out with making $10, $15, losing $20 a day. Forget about Instagram. If you look at my first ever video on YouTube that title was how I made $90 in 15 minutes. So making $90 was a big deal for me back then but nowadays on a good day I can pay around $500 just in commissions. And that's one of the main reasons we created our own community, our own Discord channel because in that channel we discuss both our wins and losses because day trading is not always about winning it's about being the best loser out there so yeah that's it guys give this video a thumbs up if you guys want me to make more videos about my lifestyle as a day trader in dubai post a comment down below subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys in the next video